So this is the facility to uh, export uh, your tweets. And as it says um, in the, um, uh, the, the tips, uh, you can only download a maximum of 5,000 tweets. Now, if, when you click on it, um, nothing seems to happen. That's because um, there is a, a pop-up blocker that is stopping the data from being downloaded. Now, what you need to do is, uh, and, and this is an example of Safari, and you'll have to um, look up uh, for the particular uh, platform that you're looking at, uh, is go on to... Um, web settings uh, and uh, click that off oh. now the problem I, I've, uh, I've had there is that, that that's now got rid of um, my my tweets I'm gonna have to do that all again so I do suggest that you do that first Okay, what uh, we have here is the um, CSV file which has been downloaded. And what I've done is I've actually put it into uh, Google Sheets. Uh, you'll see the data, uh, which is uh, in summary format. Uh, at the top, it shows you the, um, I, I've done it again, so the, the number was slightly different from the original um, screen that we saw, 1,086 uh, 1, tweets for digital marketing over a period of uh, uh, an hour. Uh, it gives you the, um, the the reach, impression, tweets, um, likes, uh, replies, etc. And then a breakdown of the um, uh, other important pieces of information. Now, th this is uh, an example of uh, why it's important to put it through um, Google Sheets uh, first, because uh, as you can see in the language, and I, I've left um, that in the second example here, um, uh, all items uh, not including uh, English. Uh, you can see that uh, there are some characters which um, uh, are lost when it was to go straight into Excel. So you can see here the um, uh, the characters there are missing. Uh, and again, if I go down, I think it's on 92, uh, and I take out the, the actual tweet. Um, think like a goldfish and you can see some uh, strange characters there if I go back to uh, the Google page I just go down to 92 you can actually see fish uh, in place that's why it's important to use um, Google Sheets to, to, to filter out the, 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 the information so uh, what I tend to do uh, and I recommend you do uh, this as well, is that um, you use uh, social bearing to download the data. I tend to, well, I'll keep the, the top uh, as, a, as, an, uh, as a, uh, an indication of uh, when, uh, what the, the keyword is and how long it um, uh, took place. Uh, I would delete uh, this uh, bit of information and keep this uh, here to, to review. So I can then look at uh, who the handle was, um, what uh, tweet took place, the, the links that are taking place, whether it's a, a retweet, a regular tweet or a reply. Uh, and then also you can see that uh, you can actually get to the um, um, the, the link of the, the tweet as well. And it has all the information where you can do your statistical or qualitative uh, analysis um, to uh, come up with the, um, the information that you're looking for. To, to glean from the, the tweets from the images that uh, have taken place. So it's uh, an extremely useful tool and uh, one that can give you quite a lot uh, of information. Here, uh, the, the tweet ID, which um, uh, I think for most people will be meaningless. And here's the, the example of the, um, the, the location. You can see um, some of the locations here might be meaningless. Uh, I think in most cases they're Here, here's an example. Someone's put a telephone number rather than a location in. Uh, no one's there. There's another one. Someone's put somewhere. So the locations don't always uh, mean anything. So I, I, I hope you found that useful. Later on, I'll be um, uh, sharing with you some examples of how I've actually done uh, some analytics with uh, social bearing.